following on the bridges of the Sim Compare Quick Tip comes yet another tool that lurks in the shadows. It works best on assemblies like this one and can really help you visualize how it was assembled or what was changed between one version or even a range. Of course, you could always step through the history, but the version to version depiction just isn't there. And if you try to open and then visually inspect each version, that'll get old real fast. The first defense in knowing the difference between versions is organization. When you save each time, it asks for a description. Use that. It'll put the information right here in your data panel. Show all, replace rotors, remove rotors, and pulley modification represents the most recent changes to this design. But to get to the tool I've set out to show you today, open the details on the web. That'll take you to Fusion Team and the web viewer. If you select the version dropdown, you might have seen this before, compare versions, which will do just like it sounds. As mentioned, you can see these broken down by single version increments or a range. We'll select V8 here so we can see the changes I mentioned before. This next illustration breaks down what was added, removed, or modified. And these can be filtered to show just what you want. Didn't find the change you were looking for? Then expand the range. When you do, you can still get information about what was added, changed, or modified in the flattened state or as a tree. Click an individual item for more details. And if you close the change list, it's always accessible from the button you see here. You might have picked up that I insinuated that this is best for assembly comparisons, and let me show you why. This pulley part has seven versions, and we'll try to compare changes using the same tool, but access from a different location. When I do this, I'm presented with this, which doesn't show me specific geometry that was added or removed through the versions, but that the body was modified. For now, you'll have to rely on stepping through the part history and those descriptions, but we're working to find better ways to do this. Thanks for watching. Cheers.